Happy weekend! I had a ton of food and I'm gonna get chimken nuggets anyway in a bit. I am hungry still. It's Saturday. My stomach is a universe of its own. I have no date. A two liter bottle of Shasta and my all rush mixtape. Let's rock. Also, yes, hello, I am the Paimon today. Again, I'm super, super, super excited for uh, this showcase because they go ham. They go ham on the sets. So let's see what the devs have to say about Sumeru. This is exciting. Finally, after the game being out for almost two years, they added Dendro. This guy has a lot of uh, presence. Oh, that's so cute. Did they build a Sumerian library? That's so adorable. Have you heard of Ermensoul before? Oh, shit, that's the so beautiful. Archon is known as the God of Wisdom. <gasps> Look how cool that is. Consciousness is directly connected to it. To Dendro? The sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. She's so pretty. It's birthday. That's literally the only Dendro waifu that I want to pull for so far, Milo. The environment design is nuts. Look at that. I'm really excited to look to actually explore all of these myself and with you guys. Adorable! She's so cute. She has thighs though. Look at that. But are you Amber's friend? You seem like it would be Amber's friend. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. Okay, we have more plot things. Originates from the depths of the world. Wow. I'm so That's really beautiful. Look at the baby! What is that design? You're all over the place, but you're beautiful. Anubis. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. It's called an Akasha term. It's a tool produced by the academia. Oh, I get one of those? The legacy of greater Lord Ruka Devata. You Look how cool that is! Encyclopedia. Loli number one. Her outfit is super cute, though. Look how adorable that is. Definitely gives me uh, Jin vibes. The music is really cool too. Oh, I like this. I am liking the looks of this a lot. You all saw that just now. Baby, ordered us to stop the performance. Baby, Maybe why would you stop? Lord Cusinelli's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadabata's death. <laughs> Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? Absolutely not. Be the sexy. Oh, it's all kicking off now. Beautiful. Oh. I, the only thing I want to defile is Nilo. Did I get a flower crown? Did Ether get a flower crown? Oh, she's so pretty! I really want her. She's specifically the only Sumeru waifu that I desperately want. Oh! I'm excited! This is exactly what I needed to get my ass back in gear when it came to Genshin. Oh, he's cute! Uh, uh, He's cute. Yes, damn cute. Not to mention Lisa's from Sumeru as well. They seem to have tied together India and the Middle East to design this environment, which looks really dope. Look at that, I can't wait to walk through that. Something about Genshin I've always admired is their environmental design. Like if I want to learn how to draw backgrounds, Genshin is a good place to study. Biddy. She is Biddy, she is Biddy. She is Loli number two. Yeah, for people like Venti who have been around like thousands and thousousands of years, 500 years old is very Biddy. Told you she's absurdly old for her appearance. I mean, look at Klee, she's like 40 and she looks like she's like a toddler, so yeah. I love that all of the Archons so far have been like 
super sexy ladies. And then we have this one that's like a child. Well, they have all been very attractive people, and Venti doesn't count because Venti is more fanboy than anything I've ever seen in my life. Only one man. Yeah, Zhang Li's not a man. Zhang Li is a daddy. I want to go there and like dump my entire body in that river. I want to pet him. A newbie's baby boy. Damn girl. This boy and I are going to be friends. Lumina is going to get plowed 50 ways from Tuesday. He's not a boonie. He's an Anubis. He's a popo. Oh, they're dying. Of course. Of course, only the vision people can resist this. <gasps> okay, so he's a five star. I'm probably not gonna pull for Tanari because I don't usually pull for the boys, but I will do the story quest. Look at her! She's thighs, that's what she is. Also, Demdro. Kolei is a friend of Amber's, yeah? That's cute as fuck. So adorable! I do like her outfit quite a bit. At the very least, they, they didn't use as many colors as Tanari. <laughs> So, Tinari and Kalei boning, yes, yes. I say yes. I say very yes. Forgive me if I suddenly start talking about the horny. It's my job. I am quick to ship. It's my job. That's really cute. It's way less majestic than Liyue and Inazuma, but it still has like its own charm. Oh, I love that. I love the like uh, lotus flower shapes that the buildings have almost. Oh, I want to go there. I want to like slide on that marble in like just socks. You could play like floor hockey with that. I would join whatever college is for dipshits. <gasps> Pretty! Oh, come on, let me climb it. Oh, so there are like sticks in the mud. We're gonna have to pull some sticks out of some asses then. Yeah, it's no fun allowed. You know what? Fuck you. Yes, fun allowed. Fun in the form of horny. Look at how pretty the ships are! <gasps> I want one! Yeah, Black Market seems like the kind of place that Paimon would spend a lot of time in. And also me. She seems really cute. Dori. She has a little gin in her little lamp. That's so cute. She might seem like one of the non-human characters in this expansion, because there's always one, at least. They never explain anything. Like, there's, like, no different races or anything like that in Genshin, but if I had to guess... Dori is a gym or genie. A greedy! Which means we're going to need money! And lots of it! I'm guessing that little one in the far left, that would be our Archon, I think. Nilo, though, I want that. That is a hot piece of ass. It's technically not confirmed, but like, Naida is totally the Archon. Yeah, you can always tell, like, by the character design alone, you can tell. You could say it's like an open secret. The girl's name is Naida, and the actor's name is Kusanali. Yeah, but. A had like three different names before like her actual name was confirmed, so that's meaningless. Yeah, she's absolutely the Archon. Look at that character design. You had to make it a child, didn't you, Genshin? Oh, that's a beautiful set. That's so cute. Oh, yay, we get to talk about set design and stuff. Yeah, she's right in the middle of like the giant ass tree that was in the trailer, so she's the Archon. Oh, that's so big. That's, that's where they're sitting in right now. That's so cool. I do enjoy looking at the artwork and the environmental design of the game, because that actually really affects uh, gameplay. Because, see, I've talked about this before, Genshin's writing isn't the best, but they do excel in other things, and their, and their environment design is usually very good. Really good environment, really cool characters, um, fun gameplay. Oh, oh, they're explaining Demdro! Demdro! Why would I electrocute the mushroom? <laughs> Cute! Oh, sadness. <gasps> ah, they're little mushrooms! Look! 
Look at them! Oh my god, that's so cute! I love them. Oh my god, that's so cute! Yes, I want to adventure with them. Yes, that's so cool. They must be poisonous as fuck. Oh, it's the death place. It's dead. That's really dope. I can't wait to play Demdro Ether. Yes, baby boy, baby boy, baby. Yes. Yes. So this is Demdro ranged. Okay, so he's similar to Ganyu in the sense that he can shoot more than one arrow at once. Oh, that's so pretty! Well, this dude does make Amber look like shit. Hey! Be nice to her! Adorable. Thighs, thighs. Wait, she fights with a boomerang. That's a new weapon type. Gliding champ, yeah, it's Demdro Amber! She looks like a fun time. I'm guessing she's a catalyst user. She's a little bit taller than Diana and Klee, so you could say that she's not as uh, bitty. But still, why would you make her that small? Make her an adult, Genshin. Ooh, this is bad news for y'all artifact hunters. If you want to, like, max out Tinari, you need those shits. Chimken! Fungi, fungi, chimken. I want it. I want to eat it. Chimken nuggets. It's a wonder of nature. Proceeds to kill it. I can't wait to one-shot all of these. I don't think you're going to be able to, like, the level is going to increase with Sumeru. Like, the difficulty level has to go up. It doesn't ha it sh they shouldn't make it go up that much, but it has to a little bit at least. Oh, uh, dinosaurs! Yeah, I don't think you can one-shot a Regis Vine. I mean, you're welcome to try. I'll, I'll laugh at you when you lose. <laughs> Why can't we set the world level to a specific one? Uh, I don't know, blame the gacha mechanics. Like, I know it takes them, like, a year to develop each region, but it is... It's basically like a... Uh, like a brand new part of the game. I wouldn't say it's a new game because it's not that much content in the long, in the long run, but it is a lot of stuff. I swear to god, you guys, like, I've heard so much shit about Tower of Fantasy and how it's gonna be the Genshin killer, quote-unquote, quote, also cringe. Uh, Subaru is gonna come out in, like, 10 days, and it's gonna destroy that immediately, and it's gonna be so funny. Oh! Oh! Watch the 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 addicts that are that were the same ones that bitched at last year's anniversary not be pleased with Kole get, getting Kole for free because she's not a fan star. Yeah, you can get Kole for free. That's awesome. You take pictures of things and that's how you can get inspiration. Aww. That's cute. Yeah, like it, it makes sense that the devs would give us Kole for free so you can fuck with, Den, or with Dendro uh, without having to pull for Tainari. They're really cool. I really do want to fight the Dendro chicken. Parkour! Oh, I love the parkour challenges. They're so silly. Can you keep that for your house? Demdro Ether attacks with pocket pollen. Yeah, I mean, allergies beware. Pollen. Mushrooms. You can stop combat so you can take a fucking selfie. Oh, I have collected. I have to collect so many sealies. All the fucking sealies. I keep missing them because I'm too busy like doing this story bits. Oh, I want one. It's one of the pets I'm guessing. I mean, I'm actually really glad that they're making so many events right off the bat because that way, because like there's gonna be people that are gonna play the Sumeru story content for 3.0 in literally two hours. So the more stuff that they put in there, the better. Oh, oh, hi, Rock Daddy. Hi. 
在第二期《角色起源》中。Oh, Jaeger the choice. Jaeger the choice. Are you going to forsake my fish wife again? Are you going to incite my wrath, or are you going, or are you going to be a good fucking boy and pull for the fishy? I love, I love Kokomi so much. Blue pill versus red pill. Why are they making me choose between my two wives? Jaeger, you dipshit. You already have Ganyu. The choice should be obvious. It's an obvious choice. Doi, Kokomi. Oh shit! So, so this is for the people who hoard artifacts, so they can try and get new ones. Oh, I need to get more fish. I like how you can eat them, but I want to. I just want to keep them in my house. That's a really good change. The artifact farmers are super happy about it. I mean, I would be. I'm pleased about it too. I don't really use artifacts that much, but that way, like all the ones I've hoarded, I can just like combine them into a new one. Okay, thank you for giving us release dates. Oh, okay. So they're working with dead ass one of the best orchestras in the world. This shows you the amount of clout that Genshin has gotten since the game release, because they're working with really, really cool uh, and very, very well, well uh, recognized orchestras now. Thank you, Jaeger. Put the book down, you fucking LARPer. Wilson! Rude! Do not be rude. That's why he was holding it. Okay. I... Oh, I actually haven't watched the Fumero promotional video thingy, but we can do that later. I do have a lot to say about this. Uh, first of all, I love these showcases. I live for these showcases. They only really do them with the big expansions, but I think... As, me personally, as a consumer, as a designer, and as a designer myself, I would much rather see the devs talking about the game they are making than just listening to the VAs talk about their experiences. Because, like, I'm going to play the game. I'm going to form my own opinions about it. But seeing the devs talk about it, show material, and just generally discuss the passion and the love behind the project, that just does it for me. That makes me really happy. And it's this types of things that makes me really angry that Genshin is a gacha. Because you can clearly tell that, like, the team has a lot of passion behind it. Like, they're, they're, they put a lot of love into Genshin. But it still has those very predatory mechanics uh, and microtransactions that I am personally not a big fan of. If only, if only MiHoYo would like drop the gacha model for one game. Drop it for one game. It doesn't have to be Genshin. Like, do make my make me a like Honkai Impact game that doesn't have fucking gacha mechanics. I can guarantee you the game is probably gonna do just as well. The problem is that gacha makes them too much money, so I don't think they're ever gonna stop doing it. Still though, it is nice to see that the devs put so much love into the project and that they're super dedicated to making the game the best thing they can, in spite of the shitty gacha mechanics. Yeah, no, like, as much as I would like a burger or something like that- Ooh, apple pie, yes. I would like an apple pie, my milkshake with Oreo in it, and some nuggies. <laughs> 